what's going on? Today I'm talking about uh, Tupac and why are they still making Tupac documentaries? Um, you know, I seen a commercial, I forgot what channel, I think I was watching uh, Snowfall, I think it was FX. And um, yeah, I saw a commercial about a, a, a Tupac documentary. And I'm like, man, when he was alive, they didn't put respect on his name. Uh, they labeled him a thug or again, well, he labeled himself a thug, but uh, you know, they made him out to be this criminal gangster, you know, person, you know, knowing that it's all about the music, but they, they, they put him out as the bad guy, basically. Uh, I'm sorry, man, I just ate So a nigga, so oh, I'm sorry, hold on, I said nigga. So a brother got the itis. So, you know, excuse me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause right after the video, I'm gonna go to sleep, but this was on my mind. Uh, they, they made him public enemy, number one. Um, I You know, I, don't, I really don't understand, you know, why it's a fascination to really make money off of somebody's pain nowadays, man. Uh, you know, the commercial said, you know, Annie was his hero. Like, how do you know? You, you didn't talk to him. You didn't like, it's just, I don't know, bro. And you know, even if you did, man, you weren't, a lot of people put, a lot of people make it seem like, you know, they were on his side and they loved him so much. But when he was here, man, he didn't receive that love. You know what I mean? He didn't receive that love from all these people. Um, it's been 30, almost 30 years, man. Give it a rest. It's over. You know, stop making documentaries. <laughs> it's over. Stop trying to milk his life. Um, you know, you guys continually put stress on this man's life. Um, he didn't want to be here because, you know, the media and, and, and misinformation. Stop it. You know what I mean? Stop making documentaries about Tupac, but you know, they're gonna keep going because they gotta make money. They gotta find a way to make money. It's crazy out here, man. It really is. Woo! Oh, oof. Boy, I tell you, boy, when I, I need to stop eating during the day, man. But yeah. Uh, like like big meals, I'm sorry. You know, everybody eats during the day, but like big meals during the day. But uh but yeah, man. Um, you know, you didn't respect his movement and the, the the dude had the dude had a movement going on and didn't respect it. You know, um then he didn't get support. He he really got the opposite of what he's getting now. Man, if he was to come back to life and see the jockers and the people saying that they respect this and love this and whoop de whoop man he probably would be like oh my god he would shake his head and diss these people man he would probably be dissing 95 percent of the people who's on his nuts now man i guarantee you. so I don't understand. I don't know why they're, you know, continue to make Tupac documentaries, man. Uh, when they weren't respecting him when he was live. And, you know, it bothers me. I don't even look at him anymore. I'm like, okay, they're going to talk about how he was poor. They're going to talk about uh, his mom being on crack. They're going to talk about how he moved to Marin City. They're going to talk about how he went to Baltimore. They're going to talk about uh, he started this. They're going to skip the whole digital underground uh, thought process and movement where he was cultivated and go straight to this and Biggie and, and, and Biggie was his best friend and all that and Wooty Woop and have that classic love story that they thought they had between two friendships. Man, everybody was homeboys just like I'm somebody homeboy somebody else is somebody's homeboy that's how it was they making it seem like bigger than what it really was stop milking his life for profit and you wasn't 
messing with him when he was here. I hate that, man. Like, because when somebody's dead, it's too late to show love. It's too late for that, man. Um, you know, I'm a Tupac fanatic. That's why I like, you know, speaking on him. I don't, you know, if I if I if I wasn't an avid Tupac listener, I wouldn't do videos about him. Um, simply because I'm, I, I, you know, I'm not interested. But you know, that was my favorite rapper, so you know. I'm doing videos on him, you know? So, you know, it's just crazy, man. The world is, is, it's all about money. It's no, it's, it's not for the love anymore. So, you know, that's the video, man. I'm concerned, I, I you know, I don't know why they're doing Tupac documentary still, but hey, it is what it is, say la vie.